Today, we're gonna get into some serious airbrushing expertise with our very own Johnny Dollar, right now on Nail School. Johnny. No. So, <laughs> so we're doing this again because someone in our company deleted the footage last time. <laughs> <laughs> and it was an awesome demo. It was an airbrushing demo you did yep. using the Young Nails airbrush and a simple business card. The design was beautiful. I deleted it. You can do the same thing today? Something close. Something similar. So okay. Can you use the same technique? Might be a different design. And what exactly is the technique, Johnny? Um, the technique is actually using a standard business card if you don't have anything else laying around to, act, to create lines, dimension, even using the corners of the business card to create a little bit of a design as well. Yeah, this actually was requested because when he did the design on Tracy, when she was doing demos, everybody was like, what is she wearing? We need to see that now. We're gonna bring it to you right now. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay. All right, so she has a little bit of shine on her nail, so I'm just gonna remove that very quickly with the 150 grit file. When you're airbrushing, you kinda wanna stay on a rougher surface. Um, you can go right from application into airbrush. That's not gonna affect anything. It's not gonna affect your wearability. It's actually gonna help it stay because it has something to anchor to. So I'm gonna quickly come through her nail, take off any shine she may have or finish file if that's the point you're at. All right, so once that's done, use a manicure brush and remove that dust. And then I'm gonna come in with a sa uh, wipe saturated with swipe just to make sure there are, there's no dust, dirt, or contaminants on the nail, and then we'll get started. All right, so I'm gonna take white, which sometimes if I'm doing a brighter design, I start there. So what I'm gonna do is coat her nail completely with white paint. That is going to block out any color in the background and make our bright colors pop. I'm gonna work with some brights today. So I'm gonna come through all 10 nails, or all five in this case. And I don't have to have it super completely opaque, I just wanna block out any of the color in the background to make our color stand out. And it only takes a couple drops. This airbrush paint is very thin. We also want to go from lightest to darkest when we're working so we don't have to constantly clean our airbrush and that's gonna quicken your time. You also want to focus when you are airbrushing that your paint doesn't come out super wet so you're not saturating the nail and it gives it time to dry. It should almost be dry when it comes out of the gun itself. I'm gonna use a polish bottle as a stand. If you want an art stand, you can actually go on Amazon or something and get some, they're pretty cheap. So I'm going to start with pink. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to start to fade this onto her nail. And I'm just gonna go back and forth over the area I wanna cover. It doesn't have to be 100% in the same spot. It can be super random. It can be more of one color than the other. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna spray out my excess color. Now if I do wanna go from pink to orange or pink to yellow, I may have to clean my airbrush. In this case, I'm not gonna do that because I want the colors to mix together. So same thing. I'm just gonna fade this into my pink. No rhyme or reason necessarily, just where I wanna put it.
I'm going to use just a little bit of purple to highlight that a little bit. So if I want to clean this out, I'm going to use a little bit of on to the next polish remover. It's got a little bit of acetone base in it, so it will break out any of that color that um, you're trying to get rid of. All right, so I'm just going to pour a little bit of remover into the well of my airbrush. Kind of work it back and forth a little bit, and I'll actually pull my needle back and forth. Start it back up and spray out any on a table towel. So that gets rid of any extra color that we don't want in there. Because I'm going to go to green. Purple and green make brown. Basic color theory. It's not going to be pretty. So now that I have this all nice and cleaned out, I have a nice color. I'm going to randomly hit different spots. It's going to show brightest on the areas where it's still white. If we mix a little bit with the yellow, it's going to layer and create a different color. And that's all we're going to do for our background for our design. Now I'm going to use black, and black is what we're going to create our design with on top of our background. And like I said, we only need a couple drops. So we're going to take our business card, we're going to set it down on our nail, and I'm actually going to spray the card itself. I'll spray on the card and let the overspray create the design. So once we finish with our design, we're going to spray all the paint out of our gun. And I'm going to go ahead and put some acetone in it to make sure it's nice and clean and has a chance to soak so it's not all dried up before my next client gets here. Also great if you have a dappen dish nearby, you can actually stick the nose of your gun in the dappen dish of acetone and have it nice and clean. Alright, so we're going to finish these out with some finish gel. Finish gel is going to dry to a non-tacky finish. I normally give it about two minutes. That's going to give it the best cure. finish gel on them and have her go inside the light for two minutes and that's going to give us our maximum shine. All right all I'm going to do is either use a little onto the next remover to make sure our design where all the excess paint is cleaned off and our design shows nice and bright. Johnny, what a beautiful set of nails that we've got here. My goodness, when I saw that set, I was legit shocked with goodness. Shocked with goodness. Shocked with goodness. <laughs> that is a beautiful set of nails, man. Honestly, it's gorgeous. So easy, so easy. 
What do you say, like, I know people always ask, like, how do you, you're gonna paint with, a, it's acrylic paint that you're using. It's and you're basically a very thin, thin version of acrylic paint. So you're supposed to get that not saturated, not heavy. It's supposed to be a lighter blended look. Right. If you go too heavy and it's too saturated, that could lead to chipping, right? Yes, yes, it can lead to chipping. Doesn't matter how good our top coats are. How often are you doing airbrushing in your services? Are you incorporating quite a bit of it right now in your mm -hmm. services? I'm incorporating airbrush into the services. You can incorporate it with stamping. You can incorporate it with airbrush alone. The business card trick I just showed you. Amazing. You can go to the craft store and pick up pinking shears and cut the corner. Just You can do so many things. So yeah. you don't have to spend a ton of money. Yeah, it's, I mean, that design, that color combination and just using like those patterns. What a great look. Perfect for summer. Thank you for being on Nail School. We'll see you next time, hopefully. Sure. Awesome.